Grandma Goody, and I'm here to tell you a Bible story that has to do with Thanksgiving. Now, we're supposed to give thanks every day and be grateful for what we got, but I love that we have one day a year when we're supposed to sit down together and uh, my family, we all sit down at a big table and I make a beautiful feast. And uh, oh, it's beautiful, a big old turkey. That's what we have. Different people have different things. But anyway, I love to have that big, beautiful dinner and all the people in my family all gather together and we hold hands and uh, we thank God for all of our blessings. We thank him for all the abundance of the good food. You know, one time I was having Thanksgiving with a different part of my family and uh, they don't, they, they just were getting together and they, they had a buffet. Nobody even sat down together and nobody said thanks to God even for the food that they was eating. And uh, suddenly we had an earthquake and everybody hit the floor. And after that, I said, well, maybe we should give thanks for our food. And after that, they were all happy to do it. So anyway, that wasn't what I was supposed to tell you. But uh, I have a Bible story about giving thanks. And uh, this took place uh, back in the land of Israel when Jesus... Uh, was traveling all around and he was doing mighty miracles. He was healing lots of sick folks. He was making blind people see, people who were deaf hear. He was helping the people who couldn't walk suddenly get up and uh, leap around. And so lots of crowds were coming. There was a big, he was getting famous. He was like a celebrity. So anyway, there was thousands and thousands of people. They didn't want to go home. They just wanted to keep listening to him, teach him about God and heal people. And so, but, but this, they didn't have a caterer. There was no food there. There was no breaks for lunch or nothing. And so Jesus, after three days, he looked at the people and he could tell they was getting hungry. They was so hungry that he thought, you know, they brought their lunch, but that ran out days ago. So anyway, he said to his disciples, Hey, disciples, get over here. I want you to feed all these people. Well, they looked and saw thousands and thousands. I mean, they kind of counted. There's about 4,000 men. And then uh, there was women and children. There's probably 10,000 people there. So anyway, the disciples said, how are we supposed to feed all these people? That they, you know, how are we supposed to feed all? We don't have anything. There's not even a store nearby. And so Jesus says, well, well, what do you got? And so, uh, hey, Bo, come over here. You want to see what I got? Hi, Bo. Look at this. Can, can you see what I got here? This is a little plate. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rolls. has a few little fish on it. And the disciples gave this to Jesus, and they said, that's what we got. Now, I'll confess. I would think that that would be a poor meal, even if I sat down to dinner with my family, and that's what they put in front of me. I'd have a hard time being thankful. But you know what Jesus did? Jesus blessed it. He closed his eyes and he talked to God in heaven. And he said, thank you for this food. And he asked a blessing on the food. And then he started to give it out to his disciples. And he told them, you give it to the other people. Right now, Bo's sitting here real nice. It looks like he would like one of these fish. See, they just had a few little fish just like that. Let's see, Bo, you like fish? You like fish? I think Bo likes fish. Anyway, the disciples took it. They started passing it out. I don't know if they're throwing it, but I might start just throwing it. I don't think they throw it. They probably broke it because they thought they had to save it and give two little pieces and they throw that. But anyway, the more they gave it out, the more they got. And they kept passing out the food. Everybody's getting excited. I guess they like fish and bread. They're passing it out, passing it out. And the more they passed it out, the more food there was until every single person there ate as much fish and as much bread as they could until they were completely satisfied. That's a mighty miracle. And, you know, when we sit down, whether we just got a little or we got a real feast. Always remember to give thanks for what you got. And then you'll remember this verse too. Jesus said, if you, you, I don't know if you can see this, but this little plate says, give us this day our daily bread. 
Jesus taught us that we could pray every day and we can ask God to give us the food we need for that day. Because there are people who don't, they don't know what they're going to eat tomorrow. But you can pray and ask God, give us this day our daily bread and God will provide for you. And uh, every once in a while, you might get a feast. So anyway, that's my Thanksgiving story. And I want to wish you a very happy Thanksgiving day. And I hope you eat a lot of good food. And, um, oh yes, don't forget, Grandma Goody loves you, but God loves you more. So kiddo, you know what? I do sometimes forget something and I'll leave a part out. And I want you to get the whole story. So that's why I want you to go to the Holy Bible. I'm going to show you where it's at. Like, for example, in that story I just told you, I don't know if I told you, but at the very end, they picked up seven whole baskets, like big baskets, seven big baskets full of leftovers. So they had more than enough, just like any good Thanksgiving dinner, you're supposed to have leftovers. And see, here's Bo. He's looking to see if we got any leftovers. Huh? But I'll give you some. Don't worry. But let me tell the kiddos where to look for this. You're going to look in the New Testament. And the name of the book is Matthew. Hi, Bo. And then the chapter is chapter 15. And then the verses. Remember, those are the itty-bitty numbers in between the words. 32 to 39. And if you're using the secret code, it's going to be M-A-T-15, and then the two little dots, 32-39. So anyway, there's your Bible story. Look that up. See what else I might have missed or messed up. Anyway, I want you to get it right, so just do it yourself. Thank you.